Reverse iterator is a little bit tricky to use. That's why we need to talk about it. There are two ways to declare a reverse iterator. One is using a temporary class of reverse iterator. Another one is using the type of reverse iterator that's nested inside a container. And they're both doing the same thing. Actually, one is a type def of another. And here is how to traverse a vector with a reverse iterator. First, I define a R iter, which is a reverse iterator. And then I use the container's member function rbegin and rend. So as a result, the content of the vector will be printed out in a reversed order. Reverse iterator and a regular iterator can be converted from each other. Here I have defined a regular iterator iter and a reverse iterator r iter. And I can convert a iter into a reverse iterator and assign it to r iter. However, the other way around won't work. I cannot explicitly convert a r iter back to a iter. To do that, I have to use the reverse iterator's member function base. So what does the base function do? The C++ standard says base function will return current iterator. But what does the current iterator mean? The answer might surprise you. Here I have a vector of integer that has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then I use the find function from R begin to R end to find the item of 3 and assign the resulted iterator to a reverse iterator R iter. Then I print out the content of R iter. Naturally, it will print out 3. Then I use the base function to get the R iter's current iterator and assign it to iter. And then I print out the content of iter. Guess what will be printed out? It will print out 4. This is what oftentimes surprises the beginners. The reverse iterator and iterator can be converted from each other, but they are not pointing to the same thing. How does this happen? Let's look at a picture. Here I have a vector and vec.begin pointing to the first item of the vector and vec.end pointing to the one after the last item of the vector. So where is the rbegin and rend? rbegin pointing to the last item and rend pointing to the item before the first item of the vector. So that is what the current iterator means. The current iterator of R end is begin. The current iterator of R begin is end. So they are not pointing to the same thing. They are off by one element. And the same thing for iter and R iter. If R iter is pointing to n, then R iter dot base or iter is pointing to n plus one. They are off by one, one item. So the current iterator is the reverse iterator increment by 1. This is why R iter pointing to 3 and iter is pointing to 4. Now let's look at more examples. Again, R iter is pointing to 3. And when I insert R iter 9, 9 will be inserted before R iter. And since R iter is iterating backwards, so the place before R iter is actually after 3, between 3 and 4. So 9 will be inserted between 3 and 4. If I insert R iter dot base 9, 9 will be inserted before R iter dot base. Since R iter dot base is a regular iterator, not a reverse iterator, and R iter dot base pointing to 4. So 9 will be inserted before 4. So 9 is inserted between 3 and 4. So insert R iter and insert R iter dot base have the same result. However, this is not true for erasure. 
again our iter is pointing to 3. And if I do vec dot erase our iter, 3 will be removed. So the result is 1, 2, 4, 5. However, if I do vec dot erase our iter dot base, since our iter dot base is pointing to 4, 4 will be removed. So the result is 1, 2, 3, 5. So as you see, reverse iterator is a little bit tricky to use and you need to be careful when you use it. In case you haven't noticed, I have an OR in between the two insertion and it is very important for me to have an OR in between the two insertion. If I insert R iter 9 and then do insert R iter base 9, what will happen? Undefined behavior. Remember, for a vector, whenever you insert something into it or remove something from it, the pointers that previously pointing to the vector's content will get invalidated. And the same thing for references and iterators. It is very important to keep that in mind. And the erase also will invalidate the pointers and references and iterators. If you want them not to be invalidated, you have to use a list or associative containers or unordered containers. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. Feel free to subscribe to my channel so when I post a new video, you will be updated. Or you can go to my channel's homepage and see what I'm offering today. Bye-bye.